Let me get back to that conversation we were about to begin on the summertime stressors on young people who are facing eating disorders. Yeah, let's talk to Dr. Ellen Astrakhan Fletcher. She is a regional clinical director of the Eating Recovery Center in Chicago and a lecturer at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine. She's joining us there. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about this because it's an interesting connection between summer and eating disorders. Explain what's going on, what your data shows you. Sure, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of contributions. For example, we know when you know kids are out of school, they're no longer being under such adult supervision. They're not being watched by teachers, their parents are at work. On top of that, they have less structure, uh, less routine. And for kids with any type of anxiety, not having that structure and routine can kind of cause internal chaos. And that can be like, I need a focus for something. Then on top of that, you add the typical stressors of summer. You know, you're going to the pool, to the beach. There's ample opportunity for body comparisons and body image issues. And on top of that, yeah, there are the pictures. And then on top of that, you have the social stressors, right? People are expected to get together, relax, have fun. And for our more kind of shy, timid, or socially excluded, perfectionistic kids, um, this can be a lot of pressure that can actually contribute to a developing eating disorder. Okay, well, you did a great job really explaining why now, why it becomes so much more complicated during the summer. As parents, what would you say uh, is the advice that you would give uh, signs to be looking for? What kind of treatment options do you typically recommend? Yeah, well, first, the first thing I would say to parents is eating disorders are treatable, and you do need to know that. And if you have concerns about your child, start to talk to them non-judgmentally. Try to keep lines of communication open. You know, really let them know that there's help. So for example, on eatingrecoverycenter.com, you can get uh, you know, an assessment from a fully licensed clinician at any time free of charge. So there is help out there. All right, Dr. Ellen Astrakhan Fletcher, thank you so much for your insight today. We do appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for having me.